Insta360 has released a firmware update improving the pure video mode on the Ace Pro. Pure video is the best mode to use in low light situations. I was surprised when I saw that Insta360 was doing an update to it because pure video had already made the Ace Pro the best low light action camera out there. The update is supposed to further improve the mode's low light image quality, enhance the dynamic range, and improve the clarity. On this channel, I share all the latest action camera news, reviews, and how-tos. Like and subscribe to learn how to get the most out of your camera. I took my Ace Pro out to test the improved pure video mode and to see how it performed in general in low light. The Ace Pro has a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor, which is roughly 3 quarters of an inch. The relatively large sensor is used in conjunction with its AI chip to reduce noise, increase the brightness, and improve the dynamic range. You can see how well the video came out at this local light festival. Action cameras use electronic image stabilization, which is usually horrible in low light. If I were to try and record this same footage using a GoPro, for example, the lights would jitter and shake, making the footage basically useless. Insta360 has a feature called low light stabilization that significantly reduces the amount of jitter and shake in low light. I recorded this section of the video with the low light stabilization off. I don't see any significant issues which is really impressive. I turned on the low light stabilization for the rest of the night and got smooth jitter free footage. One thing to keep in mind is that the image quality on the screen while recording is really poor. Mine was dark and grainy, but once it's processed and exported, it looks a thousand times better. The next feature I tested was the clarity zoom. If you double tap on the screen, the camera will zoom in two times without losing any image quality. I was curious to see how the footage would come out if I recorded in the standard video mode and left the exposure to automatic and I was impressed with that as well. Here I switched to manual exposure. I set the shutter speed to as slow as possible and adjusted the ISO up and I got a good image quality. But in my opinion, it's just best to leave it on pure video and let the camera take care of all the adjustments. That way you don't have to constantly stop and adjust the settings every time the lighting changes. I also took some photos using the automatic exposure settings and they came out just as good as the video. The Insta360 is hands down the best action camera in low light. To learn more about the Ace Pro, check out this video.